Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over two problems using the kinematic equation for one-dimensional horizontal motion. And in both of the examples that I'm going to do in this video, we're going to be solving for the time. Here's our first problem. We have a, starting from rest, a pro stock race car can complete a quarter mile, that's about 400 meters, with an average acceleration of 6.67 meters per second squared. And we want to know how much time does it take the race car to complete the quarter mile. Now, as I've showed you in all the videos that I've done using kinematic equations, the first thing you should do, step number one, is to write down all five of the variables that are contained in the kinematic equation. And they are the initial velocity, the final velocity, delta x, which is the change in position or the distance, the acceleration, and the time. Step two is to fill in for all five of these the things that you know. And you should be given three so that you can solve for the fourth. Starting from rest, the initial velocity is zero. Quarter mile, 400 meters, that's the distance. And then we're given the acceleration and we're asked to solve for the time. How much time does it take? We're not given the final velocity. We're not asked for the final velocity. and Therefore, we're going to ignore the final velocity. Once again, you'll notice you're given three of the variables. You're asked to solve for the fourth. Get out the kinematic equations. Each of the kinematic equations has four variables in it. So therefore, if you know three, you can always solve for the fourth. We need to figure out which equation we're going to use. I like to look, start by looking for the equation, looking for an equation, that has the variable I'm trying to find. That is the time. Then I need to make sure it has the other three variables in it. The first equation, you'll notice, has the time in it. It has delta x. Do we know delta x? Yes, we do. Do we know the initial velocity? Yes, we do at zero. Do we know the final velocity? No, it's not zero. So if we know the variable we're trying to solve for, but we don't know all of the other three, then we cannot use that equation. The next equation, we're solving for the time. Here is the time. Do we know the other three variables? Let's check final velocity. We don't know final velocity, so therefore we cannot use that equation. Now, the third equation, once again, we're solving for the time. It has the time in it. Does it have the other, or do we know the other three variables that are in this equation? Delta x, yes, we know delta x. The initial velocity, yes, we know the initial velocity. The time, we're solving for the time. And do we know the acceleration? Yes, we know the acceleration. So therefore, we know the other three variables that are in this equation, other than the one we're trying to solve for, which we call the fourth variable. That means we're going to use this equation to solve this problem. You'll notice the last equation, I just like to check it. It doesn't have the time in it, so therefore we could not use that equation. Okay, to the next slide. We're going to bring our information and our equation with us, and now we can solve for the time. I like to, first thing, is rearrange the equation and solve it for the time before I plug the values in. The other thing you should notice is that the initial velocity is zero. That means that the initial velocity times the time is also going to be zero, so this equation can be simplified to delta x is one-half a t squared. We want to solve for the time. So I'm going to solve this equation for the time. That means I'm going to have to multiply both sides by 2, divide by a, and take the square root. So I get that the time is equal to the square root <coughs> of 2 times delta x divided by a. Now I'm simply going to plug my values in. t, the time, is equal to the square root of 2 times 400 divided by 6.67, which is our acceleration, and we get that the time it takes to complete the quarter mile is 10.95 seconds. There you go. That is the answer to problem number one. The second problem, we're going to do the same way. We have a top fuel drag racer this time, once again a quarter mile, and we have a top speed of 134 meters per second, which is approximately 300 miles per hour. If the drag racer starts from rest and accelerates uniformly, how much time does it take to complete that quarter mile? 
So we're going to write down once again all five variables, initial and final velocity, the distance, the acceleration, and the time. What are we given? Okay, once again, we're given that the initial velocity is zero. It says right here the drag racer starts from rest. We're given the distance is 400 meters and the top speed, which in this case is our final speed, is 134 meters per second. We're trying to find time. Now, it does say here that the car uh, has a uniform acceleration, but we don't know what that acceleration is. We're not asked to solve for it, so we're going to ignore the acceleration. Now, we're going to get out our kinematic equations. Once again, we're trying to solve for the time. We look for an equation that has the time in it, and then we check, do we know the other three variables, delta x, initial velocity, and final? And you'll notice for the first equation, we know all three of those variables. We're trying to solve for the time, so we can use this equation, all right? The second equation, we don't know the acceleration. This one also has the acceleration, and this one also has the acceleration. So we can't use these three equations. Bring the information and the equation to the next slide. And we're going to solve for the time. So we're going to rearrange this equation to solve for the time. Once again, you'll notice the initial velocity is 0 meters per second. So now we can solve for the time, and that means that the time is going to be equal to we're going to multiply both sides by 2, divide both sides by the final velocity. The time is 2 times the distance divided by the final velocity. If we rearrange that equation, plug the values in, 2 times 400 divided by 134, and we get that, that time needed for that race car, top fuel drag racer, is 5.97 seconds. Okay, there you go. We did the same thing for both of those problems. Step one, write down all five variables. Step two, fill in what you know, what you're trying to solve for. Choose the correct e equation. Rearrange it for the variable you're solving for. Plug the values in, answer correct units. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please do all of the following three things. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave me a nice positive comment, and then of course subscribe to my channel. Get all of my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video.